Marcus Rashford gets shocked six-month ban as Lenny Euro receives legendary shirt number. Marcus Rashford's excuse after speeding at 104 miles per hour on M60 to overtake an unmarked police car. Marcus Rashford has been banned from driving for six months after he was caught speeding at more than 100 miles per hour on the M60, telling a court he thought he was being followed when he overtook an unmarked police car. The Manchester United striker, 26, was at the wheel of his Rolls Royce Cullinan Blue Shadow when it overtook an unmarked police patrol car on the clockwise stretch of the motorway at 31 minutes past midnight on Tuesday, December 12 last year. Court documents show the detective constable aboard the unliveried police BMW X5 had to speed up to attempt to catch up with Rashford's car, and the patrol car was traveling at speeds of no less than 104 miles per hour during 1,600-liter stretch of the motorway. But the the officer reported the gap between the two cars still increased and the Rolls-Royce moved further away, the court was told. Rashford exited the motorway at Junction 3 onto the A34 towards Wilmslow and the detective constable continued to follow the Rolls-Royce. The officer conducted checks over the police radio and spotted a change in the defendants driving with the car slowing down, coming off and then rejoining the A34, the court was told. The Rolls-Royce stopped and the officer activated his emergency blues and two's equipment at the Eden Park Road roundabout of the A34 before speaking to Rashford who confirmed his name and date of birth. Rashford told the officer he thought he was being followed by a white vehicle at the lights. When the officer said he should have called the police if he suspected he was being followed, he reported that Rashford told him it happens all the time and he would be calling us every day, the court was told. The police officer reviewed footage but had not seen any white vehicle, according to the prosecution, and the officer later visited the defendant's address in Wilmslow to post a notice of intended prosecution for a speeding offense. The officer, based at a GMP Serious Collision Investigation Unit in Eccles, said in a statement to the court, Rashford said that the reason he was speeding was because he was being followed by a white vehicle and asked if I had seen it at the lights. He also said he thought that I was the white vehicle following him. I said I had not and would review the video footage from the vehicle. I also told him he needs to call 999 if he feels he is being followed. He said it happens all the time and that he would be calling us every day. I then told him to slow down and he went on his way whilst I reviewed the footage. On reviewing the footage due the duration from when he overtook me up until stopping him on Eden Park Road, I have not seen any evidence of a white vehicle following him. I also noted that on realizing he was being followed he has slowed down and his speed was within 5 miles per hour of the speed limit. The officer said on December 15 he visited the defendant's address and posted the notice of intended prosecution. In other news, Lenny Euro Manchester United squad number decided as he's set to break League One transfer record. Lenny Euro will get the number 15 shirt at Manchester United, according to journalist Fabris Hawkins on X. See below as Hawkins provides the latest details of Euro's imminent move to Manut after he completed the second part of his medical, with the talented 18-year-old set to become the most expensive defender in League One history as he closes in on his 62 euros M plus transfer from Lille to Old Trafford. It's also claimed that Euro will wear the number 15 for his new club, following in the footsteps of another top center back, Nemanja Vidic. More recently, it's not been a particularly special number at United, with recent loan signings Marcel Sabitzer and Sergio Reguilin both wearing it. And before that squad players like Andreas Pera and Adnan Januzaj. Euro looks an exciting addition for MUFC, however, so fans will hope he can become something like their next Vidic, even if he's perhaps a slightly different style of player and also someone playing in a very different era from the tough tackling, no-nonsense Serbian. As is the case in the modern game, Euro's ability on the ball will be as important as his defensive qualities, so it will be interesting to see if he can generally help improve the build-up and possession play of Eric Ten Hag's side. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.